Good morning everyone, welcome to today's vlog, hope you're all okay. So yeah, today we're at Hatton Country Wheel um, in Warwickshire, it's not that very far away from us since Sandy. We've been here quite a few times already, but this is our first time this year of the season. I think the last time we've come here was um, the end of August last year sometime, yeah, we normally come for Halloween events, but because the Halloween... Um, the half tails were different and stuff like that. Um, we didn't come, also we didn't go come for the Christmas one. So yeah, we've come for the Easter, Easter um, I think they're still doing their Easter hunt, I think, to be honest with you. Um, but anyway, we're also gonna hopefully come and see some newborn baby lambs and some sheep. It's up there as well. So yeah, also got the tractor safari, so which you're always looking forward to do. Um, I know it's a little bit rainy, a little bit drizzly, but yeah, um, hopefully we should have a good day. Now my wheels in motion and my favourites and the guinea pig village. See what they've got in here with the little baby animals and sheep where you can actually feed them as well. Yeah. There we go, here are the animals. Yeah all the animals yeah this is the pet now please not eat within the farmyard which is fair enough. So you've got little baby sheep there as well. There we go for these ones there we are something you can't give those ones you was you know who would like them wouldn't ya? Oh look darling so there's not two baby ones down there. Aren't they cute? Who Aww. animals do you like to nest? <laughs> Tell you who might like them, Sam. If someone's outside might like them. I think these ones look quite young. I think they're happy in their hay at the minute. Oh, yeah, do you want some food? They are happy in their hay. They're happy with their hay, aren't they, at the minute? Yeah, so probably get, they'll probably have some more in a minute, won't they? Yeah. Aww. Here they go, look. Oh, oh yeah, let me see they've still got mum's milk. Do you want some? They are fighting. Here they go. No? Do you want some? They are fighting. There we go. Yeah. Sam is found some. That's it, that's it. Don't give him all of it. That's it. Little one can't have one. I reckon for my favourite goat, but he's outside. My favourite oh, black and white goat is. So this is another goat. You can see they've got a couple. Oh, oh no, they've got three little like baby goats in there. And they've got a nice little one so, down here. Are you hungry? Are you hungry? Look. You're very hungry today, aren't you, at the minute? Hey. Do you want some of this? Like I said, I bet they'll be playing the outside. It does want, want some, so. Hang on, I'll just grab the camera, that's it. Hello. Hello, Mr. Goat. Do you want some? No? You turn your nose up, Ali. That's unusual. Look. Ali, look. Those four little baby goats in there. Oh, you find another one? Okay, number two. My favourite colour is yellow. Okay, and obviously they are doing sort of the bunny trail. But yeah, look at those four little goats. Aren't they tiny? Oh, really, really cute. Darling, look at those little tiny cute baby goats. Oh. You sure you don't want any? You don't want any? No? Are you sure? I think they've just been fed actually, so yeah, we'll go outside. Yeah, we'll go one that side well. Put some little rabbits in here as well. Mm. Hello little baby rabbits. Oh the oh, they fighting. No. no. <laughs> I know, they're so tiny. Oh no. I want one. No. Yeah, they've been a bit stubborn at the minute, aren't they? 
I think they think they build something because I think they've just been fed. What's in here? Oh, got a pig. This is called Goldilocks. Hello, Gold. Hello, Goldilocks. If you want to. Some over here. I want to do some over here. You want something? You <coughs> over here. When you want something? No, that's not. You can see little. Well, in there, she's had two little baby goats as well. Yeah, she's having a rest. Bless her. And a couple more in here. Do you want some? No. You can see they've had loads and loads of baby goats. Oh. oh no, they've got loads of baby goats here. They've got little baby goats here today. We've got loads and loads and loads of them. We've got loads and loads here. <laughs> I bet they'll be hungry outside, though, don't they? They'll be hungry outside. I bet so. I think, like, so I think they've just been fed. I've been there just, just fed. And this one in here. Probably hungry, isn't it, you know? Just woke up, had a breakfast. Do you want some? Do you want some? They've got, they got all their pellets down there, so I bet there'll be some around here somewhere. Oh, there is that big goat. Oh, there's a donkey. Hello. Oh, Hello, Bubbles. No, Bubbles, is that some Bubbles, sweetheart? Bubbles passed away, didn't she? Hello, little baby donkey. Sh little sheep in here as well. Obviously, you can't feed Bubbles. Oh, hey, donkey. You're a bit like me, or aren't you, this one? Yeah. You can't have any of this, I'm afraid, though. It'll make you poorly. You're not allowed this one. Um, we're going to get on the truck safari about 11 o'clock. Hello. Yeah, look. Hello, donkey. Hello. 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 Are you nice, soft and furry? Yeah, is that nice? Oh. Do you want to touch? Oh. They haven't got babies, these. No. Oh. This one is the other donkey. Yes, Ben, and you're stroking the donkey. Oh, he likes you, doesn't he? He likes all that fuss. Yeah. Have you got rid of one of your animal feet? No. You got rid of one of them? Mm. No. Yeah. I just said I said don't forget they haven't got bubbles anymore, have they? <laughs> That's one thing I like about Hatton is or how tame all the animals are. He's scratching himself, look! <laughs> There you go, this is about the donkey here. They're called Sunny and One Eye. This one on here. Hello. Oh. <laughs> Hello. Mr. Donkey. Mr. Donkey. Oh, look at this. Certainly interested in something. I don't know what he's interested in. You oh. can't feed these. No, not like so. We can't feed you. I can't feed you, Miss Donkey. Can't feed you. The donkey. Bye, bye, Donkey. I I'll might... come back and see you later. I might see you later. Mr. So you're just donkey. heading now into the Guinea Pig Village, where you can actually stroke. Well, you start stroke your own. Yeah. Oh no, obviously you can't. Obviously, sort them all out in a minute. Yeah, I don't think they've got any to touch. No. Normally you can hold them, but at the minute I don't think Hello, you can. Hello, guinea pigs. So yeah, they've got a whole nice big finish here. Oh. Really Loads really of guinea pigs, not greedy pigs. It's a lot of people guinea pig here, isn't it? You've got plenty of room and stuff, haven't you? Yeah, normally you can actually hold them, but they're not doing them at the minute, which is fair enough. So we've we held them loads of times anyway. Look at that one sitting there, having something to eat. Well, this feet up, this is about to go for. Oh, this is the, oh, this is the retirement village. <laughs> oh, put that one in there. You got one in there somewhere. These are very, very old ones. Yeah. Like a little church. It is like a little. Yeah, I suppose it is like a little church, isn't it? You got one underneath the lake. You can see the little hay go up every so often. That's where it's in there hiding. So anyway, you're about to head into scales and tails.
now I see what there is in here. Um, off we go on this way. Obviously we've got the like new door things. Before we go and practice the fire on, try and empty, get rid of all the food. Ooh, what's that in there? Have I'm saving some footage. Yeah. What's that in there? That's a weird thing. That's an amniotic stick. I'll try and vlog that. Wow, that's a big snake. That is a really big snake. That's a that's a royal python. Look at this tongue. Oh. Wow. Let's have a look at this big snake. Oh, I'm gonna vlog the snake as well. You're gonna vlog the snake as well. Ah. Oh. Here are the snake. Yeah, it's a real big snake. It is a real big snake. It's a real big snake. Oh, look at that snake. We've got some geckos in here as well somewhere. Not too quite sure where they are. We're moving around here. We've got a boa in here. We're going to, yeah, we're going to practice safari. Then we'll yeah, come we're back. having to. We're starting to have. We're going to do practice safari, then we'll come back in here, yeah? Yeah, we'll come back in here then. I'll we'll come back in here in a minute to see what you can get back, back in there that way. So, yeah, yeah we'll, we'll come back in here later then, darling. All right, yeah? <laughs> so, if you can see right away, got two or three of the goats on the bridge up there. It's quite funny because they, they do sometimes escape. Are you hungry, my sweetheart? Eh? Do you want, do you want some? Do you want some? Yeah, I knew I would go. Are you greedy? I knew you're a greedy goat. You're a greedy goat. Oh, forget this little one some. Do you want some, my sweetheart? I can't reach. I can't reach. You got some? Yeah. Let's see if I can reach for you. Yeah, yeah I can't. I haven't got long enough hands. Oh, bless him. Uh, you so just had I've some, baby, a piggy. Uh, I've been going to vlog that bit. Oh, I knew the outside ones for once, because there's quite a lot of people concentrate oh, on the ones yeah, inside. Okay. Do you want some too? There we go, is that nice? That's one thing I like about here, you can actually feed them. They are, some of them last said are really, really tame. Yeah, is that nice? Oh, look, I'm up there. <laughs> oh, they cute, the little one. <laughs> oh, bless them up there. Bless them all up there. What they? They're up there on the, um, on the fence. Mummy. Yeah, no, what's that? What's that? Yeah, they're going to start queuing up for tractor safari in a minute, aren't we? What, do you want some more? Do you want some more? Wait for my arms are long enough and you can reach. Darling, do you come and feed this one? My arms aren't long enough. Look. Look. These two here. Look, my arms aren't long enough. Do you want some as well? I'm really quite surprised they don't hurt their necks. You know when they put their wire, their necks through the wires? I think you can see they are big enough. Got some? Oh no. Have you got hiccups? Have you got hiccups? Oh, you got hiccups? Oh, you're all right. To go down your front the wrong way. Oh dear. Did you know a mother rabbit will typically only feed her baby for about five minutes a day? <laughs> and then, did you know that actually cow produces eight gallons of milk a day? Lambs drink milk for the first three to four, three to four months. And the mother hen will turn her eggs about 50 times a day and incubate them for 21 days. Dogs have no nerves or blood vessels in their feet, which means their feet don't feel, don't feel the cold. Well, I definitely wasn't a duck. I always get cold feet. Mm -hmm. So, my, yeah, so I'm like, so we've got loads of feed left. Like I said, they don't seem to be hungry at the minute, so, but last we haven't been down there properly yet. So, yeah, we're just going to go and try to try now because, again, it can quite, get quite full up here. As you can see, it's quite muddy here as well. Pigs are very clean, keeping their toilet area from their bed from where they eat. All the, all the different animal facts here, which is nice actually. 
rabbits have 28 teeth, which never stop growing. I know that. I remember peppering George all the way to chew in constantly all the time. And that's true. But it's a very excellent climb. It's been known to climb on top of trees. So, yeah. And then what we're going to do is, like I said, go on track to the fire, and then we're going to pop in there into the little hut and see all the new baby animals and stuff in there, see what they've got. So, hoping it's got it does stay dry. It's not raining now, which is good. So, yeah. We're quite lucky actually because we didn't book our tickets for here until yesterday. They said there was quite limited on numbers, but as you can see it doesn't seem to be very busy around here at the moment. So I don't know if the weather's put people off, I do not know. So yeah, obviously, we are close to going in the airport. We can hear the planes, but we can't actually see them because it's just so cloudy, basically. Oh, there's a sheep over there. So, like I said, it is lovely come up here in the summer. When it's really nice and sunny, you can actually see for miles. Oh, hello. Oh, hello. You're quite furry, aren't we? Oh, it's nice actually because they're all out and you can actually scrape them. Yeah, if you want to come over this side now and we'll uh, find you just a bit of like hand then pop them on their laps. All right. Oh. Oh. See, I got to hold a little baby lamb, aren't you? Soft, yeah. you're gorgeous as well, aren't we? Yeah, yeah, hello, aren't we? Yeah, it was so cute holding onto that little baby lamb. Obviously, they've had to put them back in now, stuff like that. I know all that mud, so yeah, we're gonna pop up like there in a minute as well. But like I said, we just come up for tractor safari. Then, once we've done that, we'll pop having a public in there. And there is some adult goats and also some adult sheep in there, which you can feed as well. So, yeah, little, little baby ones, little black sheep. Oh, no, little black sheep over there, so yeah. I've got to watch where you go because you've got the boots. Does he see what you needed the boots for? He did need boots, actually, to be honest with you. But anyway, you touched that little baby goat, didn't you? Yeah. That little baby sheep, didn't you? What was he doing? He kept licking your hand, didn't he? He kept licking Sammy's hand, bless him. So, yeah, hope fingers crossed, Tractor Fire should be okay. Um, it gets a bit bumpy in places though, doesn't it? Mm. So I do apologise if the camera is like bumping this just because again it does get bumpy, so yeah. Okay, and we are off now on the tractor safari. Hello Sammy. Yeah. Yes, yeah, so Stephen is just grabbing the whole of my phone. He's vlogging for Sammy, but again this gets Okay, a bit morning bumpy. guys, can you hear me back there, okay? Yeah. yeah. Good show. My name's Chris. I'm going to take you around on the uh, Hatton Tractor Safari this morning. It's going to be about 15, 20 minutes. Um, there's 750 acres make up uh, the whole estate here at Hatton. As I say, the whole journey should take about 15, 20 minutes for the uh, circuit we're going to do. I'll point a few things out as we go along. If I could ask you, just on the boring safety bit, just please uh, keep your bums in seats for the journey because it does get a bit bumpy and there are a, a few potholes along the way. Okay. Ready then, Sammy? I do apologise if it does get bumpy. <laughs> you can see how muddy it is down there as well, so... Yep, off we go. <laughs> okay guys, so as I mentioned, Hatton Estate is around about 750 acres. There were five farms here originally, but now it all comes under the one, under the Hatton Estate. So you'll probably be familiar with the fact that it's a fully working farm. Um, you'll have seen some of the animals. We also grow some crops here, anything from daffodils and strawberries, to potatoes, maize, maize. We'll get some spring barley in eventually when it dries out, hopefully. And of course, we grow a lot of pumpkins for Halloween. <laughs> okay, we really go big here uh, for Halloween here at Hatton. So kids, I don't know, would any of you like to have a guess as to how many pumpkins we grow here every year for Halloween? Five thousand. Five thousand is a really good guess. And if you double it, 10, so 10,000 
that's approximately the number of pumpkins we grow here every year for Halloween. So, wow. as I say, we go big on Halloween. It's good fun. We grow them down on the uh, pumpkin patch in this bottom field here. Nice. Yeah. And you can come and select your own, take them up to the farm for carving, and join in and uh, all the other spooky activities uh, that we put on for that time of year. So as we come around the corner, of course it's been very, very wet this year. Our lovely domestic pigs are making an appearance. They seem to hide away when the sun comes out. They do get uh, burned quite easily, actually. Um, pigs. Now, when we put them in this paddock about five or six weeks ago, that was a lovely, a lovely grassy paddock. Okay, you see what they've done to it in next to no time. It was. And of course, for the pigs, the muddier the better. They love it. Lovely male pheasant just in the field there on the left. Lovely brightly coloured bird. Might see a few more of those as we go around. So as we roll down the hill here, we're going to go across our first cattle grid into Alders Field. As I mentioned, there used to be five farms here, and one of them was called Alders Farm. And it was located down at the bottom there, where you can perhaps make out a couple of red brick buildings, which are just used for storage these days. So fantastic invention, these cattle grids. Really simple, very effective invention for the farmers because it means they don't have to worry about all the hassle of stopping at every gate, at every field they approach and get down from the tractor and open the gates and close them, etc. They can just drive straight in and out, knowing that the cattle are safe inside. None of the livestock can escape over the grids. So really good time saver for the farmers. So over the other side of the pumpkin field there, you see that hedgerow running down, that makes mm. marks out the railway track. So keep your eyes peeled because you might see a, a train go past. And then just beyond that, there's a smaller green field and then it's the Grand Union Canal. It's a lovely uh, place to have a walk around. The Hatton Locks are over there, very famous set of locks. I think it's 22 locks. And on a nice day, it's a really nice place to walk around and uh, watch the narrow boats trying to negotiate their way through all of those locks. An even better vantage point, in my opinion, is the white building at the top of the hill. My favourite building, that's the pub. That's the Hatton Arms. And again, that's a lovely place to sit with a cold drink, look down over the locks and uh, across the lovely Warwickshire countryside. So at the moment in this field we've got sheep. You'll see a lot of these red plastic tubs around at this time of year because we've got a lot of pregnant ewes and those have got a lot of minerals and vitamins in them. And they're there to really try and build our pregnant ewes up, keep them as fit and healthy as possible so that they can look after their little newborn lambs when they have them. A couple of very young ones down there, you can see against the fence. I think they were only born a couple of days ago, though, that pair. Oh. So typically, uh, a female sheep, a ewe, will give birth to twins or two lambs, and that's because they've got two teats. So they're well equipped to look after and raise a couple of offspring. But it's actually quite common for them to have more than that, maybe three or four little lambs. And in that situation, we'd leave all the lambs with the mother for the first few days to get them uh, a good start. And then once uh, they're established, we typically come in and take the smallest one or two away, and we would raise them on the bottle to give them, uh, try and give them the best start of growing into healthy little lambs. If you ever get a chance to bottom feed a lamb, by the way, it's one of the most uh, joyous things you'll ever do. So we have lots of different breeds in the field at the moment. Most of the white ones tend to be a mixture of Suffolk Cross, uh, North Country Mules. Uh, the smaller dark brown black ones you'll see are a mixture of Hebridean and Welsh Mountain Sheep. Very much smaller than the white ones, but really, really hardy. So uh, good grazing stock to have. And that lovely one there, the different coloured one with the brown splodges and cream, that's called a Jacob Sheep. Take this cracker. <laughs> so as you look over to the left here, you see 
So we go past the feeder here. Some of the sheep have actually forced their way through the bars, got <laughs> up on top of the feed. That's not unusual to see them do. That's not enough of them to stay outside and eat it. They have to get inside it. <laughs> Crazy animals that they are. Oh, look at this one here. Okay, so as we pass over the cattle grid into this field, this is where we've got our cattle at the moment. There's a lovely highland there with this long hairy coat, hairy highlanders as I like to call them. Just here on the right, kids, you'll see the donkeys, our lovely three donkeys, three amigos as I like to call them. What noise does a donkey make, kids? Pardon? That's it. So that eeyore sound, that's called braying. And if you look at the donkeys, they've got these lovely long ears. They've got really good hearing. And uh, typically, a donkey will hear another donkey braying up to three kilometers away. That's nearly two miles in distance. So uh, they've got really, really good hearing. Now on the right here, you might have noticed a bit smelly here. This is what we call Pooh Mountain. So every morning when we come in, we have to go down into the farm and we muck out all the pens, we clean them all out and we bring all the, the old straw and poo and everything up here. And then when it rains, as it has been known to do in these parts, the rainwater will wash through Pooh Mountain and rinse some of the minerals back into the soil to make it nice and fertile to grow crops on. When it finally dries out a bit more, we'll be able to get the farmers in here with their muck spreaders and they'll fill their trailers and spread it wide and far across the field. So by now we'd normally have the cattle up in that lovely green meadow up there but they'll just churn it up in no time so we're keeping them here for the time being. Uh, other different breeds we've got, you'll see the little black ones, plain black ones, they're called Dexters or Dexter Blacks. See the lovely little one stood over there, kids, with the white band around its tummy. This mummy's just down here. Those are called belted Galloways, and we call them uh, Oreos, because we think they look a bit like <laughs> Oreo biscuits. <laughs> now, just on the right here, this big boy, this is Connor the Bull. Ooh. We all know, always know which one's Connor, but as you'll notice, he's got a very large um, ring in his nose. Okay, so that's Connor the bull. See how big he is compared to tiny little calves here, just a couple of weeks old, these ones. And this one here is a longhorn, this white, creamy brown one. So very useful for me, kids, that you know which one Connor the Bull is. Because when we get down to the other side of the field, I'm going to have to jump out and drop the electric fence down. <laughs> I'm not going to lie, I get a little bit nervous when I'm outside the tractor if Connor's around. Especially as I'm wearing a red jacket. <laughs> so you do me a favour, if you see Connor heading, heading my way while I'm outside the tractor, you give me a shout and I'll jump back in as quick as I can. <laughs> Over to the left on the horizon, you might be able to make out the St Mary's Church spire in Warwick. And then just to the right of it, lower down, shorter circular tower. That's the beginnings of Warwick Castle there. It's another great day out if you get a chance to do that. You'll see some blue bins up on legs as we go along. And these blue bins we fill with seed. And that's to try and attract uh, as much bird life as we can to the area. Some lovely old oaks here along the, along the bottom of the field, 60, 70 years old, some of them. As we come down to the bottom of the fields then, kids here, you should see uh, Beauty, our Shire horse. Lovely black horse with a white face, she's got a, her coat on at the moment. And then two of our lovely little Shetland ponies here, really, really tiny little horses. But very, very tough, they're very, very hardy animals, the Shetlands. I guess if you're coming from all that way up 
in the north of Scotland from the Shetland Isles, you would be a pretty tough breed. It looks like we're going to pass quite close to them this morning, which is nice. They don't always come up this close to the truck. Try and not scare them off too much. We get a really lovely view both sides, kids. This one's really close to the trailer here. And the little creamy white one on the left here. And as I say, that's uh, Beauty Our Shire Horse, the large black one. She's sometimes inside, didn't she? Well, right, okay, so as I say, I've got to pop out here, let the fence down so we can get through. So please be on the lookout for Connor for me. <laughs> it's going away now. So, look how muddy the fields are. Yuck. How are you, Sammy? Beauty's going away up there. When he was out and about in the summer, he was after Ben Spring, wasn't he? <laughs> he's going to be up there at the top of the actually. He's down here today. So, Well, there, kids, decision time up here. Now we can either take the little shortcut through the mud or we can take just in the tractor through the water. What do you reckon? In the water. Through the water. <laughs> we're going to give Tristan his bath. <laughs> oh, he doesn't like baths, Tristan. <laughs> Sorry Tristan, the children have spoken. Bath time for you. <laughs> now I warn you kids, keep your arms in here because there could be crocodiles around. I don't think the size of this pedal. Really do. Here we go. Where's this pedal? Whoa, look at the size of that. It's huge. Off we go. Off we go through the pedal. Very, very deep today. <laughs> Look at that big, big puddle. Really big and huge down there. Was it really big? It always does there, doesn't it? No matter what time of the year you come. It's all a big puddle there. Any crocodiles? No? Oh, a bit cold for them. Maybe they're hidden today. <laughs> Okay guys, we're going to head up this little what? slope here. Oh, it's That's a lovely example there. of a male and female pheasant here on the left. Oh, yeah. You'll see the male bird with his lovely bright coloured head. And the female is a smaller bird, much more brown in colour. And then over here there's a pair of mallards. Again, you can see the male with his lovely green head, the drake. And then the female is the uh, more plain brown one there. We drop down into the dell. I have been seeing a monk jack deer around here last couple of days. Ooh. So get your eyes peeled. There's also been a lovely little uh, black moorhen. I can't see him at the moment. A lovely bird with a red beak, yellow legs. Right, we're going past the old British Army truck here. This is where you would start your mission if you were doing laser combat. Now we've got to put Tristan through his paces, he's got to get us up this hill. <laughs> Come on Tristan, you can do it. Well 
interest. Another couple of lovely male pheasants in the field here on the right. Now as we go to the cattle grid here guys, on the left hand side is our falconry field. See the guys waiting for the display, give them a wave there guys. Morning. He's just flown off one of the owls there, flying back over the sheds. That's a great display, do go and see it. If you get a chance it will be on at 2 o'clock again this afternoon. See, uh, looks like a, it's either a barn owl or a snowy owl. That one, I think, is a barn owl. So, in this field, we've got more sheep, lots of spring lambs, of course, at this time of year. Lovely woolly sheep over there. Pretty, pretty sure that's a Lincoln sheep. Lincoln long, long wool. But aside from all the the kind of usual animals you'd expect to find on a farm, like the sheep and the cows and the pigs. We also have some quite unusual animals here at Hatton. So for example, down in the middle pen, you might be able to make out our two llamas down there, stood up, having a little feed, one of them. They've got very long necks, and they use their necks to fight against each other. They bang their necks together like that. And that's to establish the pecking order in the herd. That's to establish which one's in charge. So these llamas are originally from South America. If you go down to the uh, to the bottom field, you'll see uh, you'll see our alpacas as well. Alpacas also from South America. They're like a smaller version of the llamas up here. Strange creatures, lovely creatures. <laughs> and then just down on one of the bottom pens there, if you haven't gone to see them yet, go and check out our uh, two wallabies. Lovely little animals. Does everybody know which country wallabies come from originally, kids? Begin, begins with A. Other side of the world. Not Africa, a bit further. <laughs> Australia. So wallabies come from Australia, and they're down in the bottom pen there. Go and check them out. Lovely creatures. So aside from the different animals, we have lots of different events here at Hatton. Obviously, we've got the Easter theme at the moment. We're going to have a dinosaur theme at Whitson. So if you like dinosaurs, see if you convince your, your mums and dads or whoever's in charge to bring you back up. And if you haven't already visited our maternity ward here, do go and check out all the newborns, newborn lambs, guinea pigs, newborn goats, which are called kids of course. And my personal favourite, the little piglets. Absolutely gorgeous. If you haven't seen them, go and check them out. My colleagues are in there. We've just been on back to Safari, so we're just coming back and take another look around. We're back in here now with the pigs, so I mean, the animals. We've also got lots of lambs in the pens. Now we do this, um, to make sure that It is a bit nippy, just looking at those little, all those little baby pigs. Making sure they're mothering them well, as the lamb is getting enough milk. Little flies. Now we're going to have two days in these pens. Now when we're happy enough, the lamb is getting enough milk and being looked after. We will let the lambs into the big open field. And some of you have just left from the tractor ride, you'll have seen lots of lambs out in the field. Look at this. Hello. Hello, you had two babies. You had two baby lambs. You have. Yeah, you've been a well done, mummy. And then we've got a goat there, where we just fed. Mm. Here. Yeah. Oh. They are, aren't they? You always know it's spring, so you don't you always see these little lambs. Yeah. Bless them. The goats is mare. The goats is mare. And then the sheep. Contains only bodies with all the ones. So you can see they're all the pregnant lambs. Up pregnant lambs, pregnant sheep up there. So yeah, they should be having a lovely time soon. So yeah. got a nice little baby run down here. Hello, sweetheart. Oh, the sheep might say mare. Yeah, I do. Oh, this is my favourite. 
at this one over here. Come on this way. Off goes the safari. This goat was our two little yeah. twins. And then I thought you know they'll be big goats. What's my what's my you got Nick? You got Nick? We're looking at more sheep now. Yeah. And probably they will probably get some lunch here soon. It's nearly nearly the end of the morning here now. Here I see that one there, yeah. Nearly our first. So I've got quite a few nearly yeah, loads of loads of sheep. Our first half of the day done nearly. Our first Look at these little ones. Yeah. Oh, hello, Mr. Gate. Hello. Hello. Apparently, this little baby lamp here was actually born this morning. Oh. Yeah. Look at this. Wow, it's hard to believe it was only born this morning. That look. Yes, sorry, that baby lamb was only born this morning. Oh, oh dear, yeah. where has it gone now? I don't know how tiny. Yeah, I think that baby lamb was born this morning, I think. Yeah. A few hours ago. A few hours ago, yeah, look. A few hours ago, that baby lamb was born. Look how, she, look how much she's up on her. I want to say it could be here, yeah. Look, she's having, look Sammy, she's having a drink. Her she's, yeah, she's having a drink. Her is so. having a drink now, I think. Yeah, she's yeah, having a drink. It's nearly lunchtime. <laughs> look, Mama, I took a photo. Yeah, we've got the cows. Look, yeah. they make it do if it's the cows or the piglets making a little noise. Oh, it's a piglet screaming. Oh, oh, bless them. The piglets. Oh, yes, yeah, so the horse. Oh, they cute. Anyway, yeah, so they can plant a few small hands in the pit about 12 o'clock. So we're going to go down, um, go down for a little bit, uh, down to the bottom of the pen, and then we're going to come back about 12 o'clock. So see if they can have one, have a go holding the lamb or something like that. So, yeah. And then we'll see if we can come back up here in a minute. Obviously, we can sit here for ages, no, unfortunately, little animals. Yeah, go get some lunch in a minute. No. <laughs> okay then, guys. So I'm going to do a, a little bit of an animal talk with you all now. And mm -hmm. talk you through the process, mainly about um, lambing here at Hatton. Because, uh, as you can see, it's a very busy time of the year for us here at Hatton. Lots of lambs being born. So I'll uh, talk you through um, a bit about that. And then after that, we'll do a little bit of animal handling. Okay, does that sound good? Yeah? Fantastic. Okay. Perfect. All right then, then, uh, girls and boys. So, we're busy at this time of year, then, with our lambing, primarily uh, farmers. But um, sheep... They can actually have lambs at any time of the year. Now, farmers tend to have the lambs in the springtime for one very uh, special reason, one very important reason, and that's actually to do with the grass outside, okay? So at this time of year, as it starts getting a bit warmer, the grass starts to grow again. And um, when, the, uh, when the ewes uh, and the lambs eat the grass, um, it's... Uh, it's when the grass is most nutritious, okay, for the sheep, and so it gives them all them uh, lovely nutrients they need, and the lambs grow bigger and fatter and stronger a lot quicker than they would at any other time of the year. Now the um, the gestation period of a sheep is uh, five months, okay, and uh, so that means uh, the uh, the time that it takes for the lamb. Um, the process inside the mum to uh, to come out uh, during the lambing time is five months. Now what we do then, we have the, uh, the, the female sheep, the girl sheep, these are called ewes, and the male sheep, the boy sheep, these are called rams, okay, or tups. And uh, what we do is uh, five months before we want them to uh, lamb, for them to have their babies, uh, so sort of in uh, October time, the farmer will put the ram in with the ewes, okay, and they can have a bit of fun together, and uh, then they'll be uh, they'll be having their lambs um, after that, okay? They'll be having their lambs about this time of the year. Now, what we do with the ram then to make sure that we know that the uh, the ram um, that the uh, the ewes are pregnant, we actually put a thing on the ram called a rattle, okay, and that's like a front backpack, okay, and they put that on. And it's got like a coloured chalk on the front of it, and um, when they, um, you know, when they make the lambs, the ram and the ewe, 
Um, the chalk, the colourful chalk will actually um, print onto the back of the U and that we, then we know that the, uh, the U is uh, going to be pregnant. It's so lush. Hello, are you gorgeous? Hello. I'd like to hold the baby. Yay. Oh, gorgeous. Hello. Hello. Oh, can you come home with me? Hey, you come home with me. They want, they want fish, you would they? You got plenty of grass for you at home to eat. So sorry. Oh, it's just. Lovely, aren't we? Hello. You know, good, yes. Hello, yeah. Oh, you look at my face. Oh, I love you too. Oh. Yeah, that was so so cute. The, um, I was talking to one of the guys about obviously I love to have my own goats, and obviously I didn't realise one of the goats is actually one of the cad um, things. Obviously, this cad is where they have to bottle feed them. It's either where the mother rejects them, isn't it, or the mother hasn't got enough milk to feed them. They hand read them. But I didn't realise one of the goats was one of them, and they let me hold the goat and. He only was. Thing, only thing spoiling today is the weather. Isn't oh, yeah, it? only thing spoiling today is the weather. But anyway, I mean, yeah. Like, when it's nice and warm, it's nice, isn't it? It is. But anyway, yeah, it was so cute to hold this goat. He was so happy he sat on my lap, wasn't he? He wasn't even so moving. He was so adorable. It does actually. It, 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 it's it's time again. now. I might like go to the pet again actually, but yeah, so he I mean, was. Would like to get some rabbits again? Would like to get some yeah, rabbits again? Yeah. That's what I'm saying. Yeah, he could actually feel on top of his head up here where he's actually going to get his horns. But yeah, he was so, so happy. Yeah. Sat on my lap, um, kept licking my hand off the seat, but he wasn't rough or nothing like that. It was really, really good. So yeah, that's the way we determined to get, get me even more now. <laughs> So yeah, like I said, I've always said, we're in the lottery, I love to move to a house that's got a bit of land so I can actually get some goats. Tell you um, what, you, I would love this sort of thing in the morning. So it'd be nice, wouldn't it? This nice cozy view. fresh air. It is. Really, really. Yeah, so so far, so I've been really enjoying today. And Ben's been loving it as well. So I've got a bit of feed left to feed the animals. So I don't know if we're going to go get some lunch first or yeah, go feed I'll the animals. Get some lunch. And yeah, let's go get some lunch, go and feed the animals mm. and then we'll carry on. We're now going to have a decent look round in snakes and tails. Isn't that darling? That snake's gone in that corner. Yeah. Oh yeah, it's, it's hibernating in there now, isn't he? Yeah. Listen, when we saw him earlier on, he's up here. Yeah. Um, what's that one? That's a hog nose or something, that one is. But real pythons here. Yeah, I've seen it, so they can actually hold this, um, all the feet, um, like snails and... What's that? Oh! Oh boy, that's a bearded dragon. Tell you what though, look at him moving. He's tiny actually. Wow. You know um, Fiona from My Great Size Scotland? Um, wow, good afternoon everyone. Sienna or something, no, Sanna. They just found out he's a he and he's massive, really but yeah, look at him. Yeah. We're now in Scouts and Trails again. Sam's actually vlogging now, um, so. Wasn't it milk snakes? Again. Where? Oh, wow, he's oh, wow. huge. He is absolutely he is. huge, that dragon. Yeah, Fiona, comment down below, is Zanna this big or Zanna bigger? Oh, I'm not too quite sure how big Zanna actually is, is, but yeah. Huge. And as I said, he's a male. His name is Caesar, and he was and actually born in 2019. Caesar. He was actually born, but look, yeah, he's really huge. Here, yeah. but in here, you've got some sort of another corn snake in here as well. What got round in here? Oh, got some little geckos in here That's as well. Snake. Yeah. So, what? What? In the box. It's in the box. What's in the box? Nothing I'd be scared of, is it? Oh, 
Hello, Mr. Rabbit. I'm quite surprised that she can't bring these and touch all the rabbits and stuff. Oh, hello, Mr. Rabbit. You're a big boy, aren't you? You are a big boy. Big snake. What? You've got a big snake out there. Wow, let's go have a look at this big snake, shall we? Where is the big snake? Wow, that is a big snake. Wow, Sammy? Sammy? Don't come be brave enough and touch the big snake. Don't come be brave enough and touch the snake. Don't touch the big snake? No. Wow, that is huge. That snake is really huge. Oh my god. I don't know if I can touch the snake actually. Wow, it's huge. Yes, number three, please are you. We're done today by a local jockey from just down the road. A little place called Barford. Number four, you never know. We're done today by our second celebrity jockey. Any ideas who that might be? You can see it then, stand back. <laughs> Barbie! Yeah, Barbie! Yeah, number five, Lamborghini! Yes, Lamborghini, always a fast starter. Soon runs out of fear. Every surprise that wins today came last at Wolverhampton last week. And number six is Streaker Bottom. Yes, ridden today by our final celebrity. Any idea who that might be? Gordon Ramsay! <laughs> cool. He's the yes, fox with his little things left. So you can guess what's for wins. So, sorry what you put there, we didn't put these parts into two. You could choose between number one or number six. Oh yeah, I wonder why you choose that one for. Red Ram! <laughs> right. I don't know, and just have his orders, and they're off. I can't see too much. Let's get yourself ready, we're just getting the sheep ready now at the start line. Oh, Sammy! Oh, Sammy! You were there to have to go and get on, didn't you? Oh. That's it. Bob. 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 That's number seven. I think this is bad. The thing's <laughs> up there, it's all about that deep in mud. Uh -huh. They did say rising to the well, is that? You know they did. And we didn't. And we didn't. Mm. <laughs> okay, guys, we're just uh, doing the final preparations at the start line. Waiting for the starters to go in the air. Once the arm goes in the air, we'll do a short countdown and the race will begin. Get yourself ready, folks. Hatton Grand National is moments away. Are you all excited for shit? <laughs> Just you. That's it, right below there. Right below there. Oh, there we go. Well, that's how you catch a sheep. Marvellous job there, Marvellous job. Yeah, the one without the jockey is a good one. We've done this. We're going to look round. I'm going to make my way back up to the top then. Make my way back up there. OK, folks, look at that. The starter's arm is in the air. Are you ready for shoe racing? Okay, calm down with me. 99, 98, 90. Is that too much? No, no, just do 3, 2, 1. Are you ready? 3, 2, 1. And we're up on our way. Start up in the back of the field. 4, 2, and 6. Oh, 6 is now taking the lead. And 6 is the base. One now. It's very close. Now it's now number 7. Number 1, Black Hands in the lead.
And number four, you'll never know who has indeed today's winner. Number one, Red Run in second place. And number three, please hold him, David Bird. Thank you for taking part with the Shebo. Sammy, why on earth is that goat doing up there? Look. <laughs> Are you being a silly goat? <laughs> This is well, I don't want to have no dinner otherwise. <laughs> yeah, because they're just crossing the bridge there. Down in now. There, to you two. Hey, off they go. I think that goat's going to break that. No, you won't break it. You watch them jump off. <laughs> That's it. Oh, well, I think they just realised actually someone's feeding them. So, yes, yeah, so I managed to find them all to feed. Yeah, go on the tractor safari now, shall we? Look at those two up there. They're fighting. Let's try to far, it might be our last the, thing. There's two girls up there fighting. So yeah, I think so, sweetheart. I actually need to find them before of our um, advent calendar thing. There's one we haven't found. So, we have to look out for you. I can watch on the reception, see what they say. But, yeah. Bye-bye, yeah. Mr. Gate. Bye-bye. It was nice to see you again, wasn't it, eh? And this one here. This brown one here has been on. He's been on so many of our Hatton vlogs. He won't believe this one has, haven't you? Remember a couple of years ago, a photo of you was actually inside, and we had a selfie, didn't we, Mr. Gate? He's more interested in having something to eat today. That's what he's more interested in now. Well, an SG fam, that brings Wednesday's vlog to an end. And yeah, absolutely love today. Absolutely beautiful day today at an adventure world. Far in the way of the weather, the wet stuff and the everywhere being muddy, it was a brilliant day. Yeah, big thank you to all the staff there as well. They were absolutely really, really helpful. You know, I've never known such a tractor safari where they've spent so much information about everything. It was absolutely brilliant. And plus, every other member of staff there was so helpful as well. So thank you very much. And as always, guys, like the video, comment down below, hit the subscribe button. See you in the next one. Bye, everybody.